Hello, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm one of the senior application engineers at Hawkridge Systems, and today we're going to be covering a question that comes in to support, and it's how to link a feature dimension to a note inside of a drawing. So here we have a very simple block. And if you can see here, we already have our dimensions in here. We have this six inches, seven, and then eight. So here we have our length. This is going to be our width, and then our height. So here I want to actually assign an equation. You don't have to in for the purpose of the video, but I do want to do that. So if I change one dimension, it's going to control the other ones. So I identify that maybe I want this width here controlling my length and then my height. So I'm going to double click here and I'm going to say equals this dimension plus one. So I always want it one inch larger than my width. And at the same time, I'm also going to say that my length is always going to be one inch less. So I'm going to say equal the dimension minus one. So now I have a sigma sign indicating that this is controlled by an equation and it's being driven by this width. Then now when I pop back over to my drawing, which I have here already, right, I've brought in my dimensions and I also have this note. And I've identified that I want to say the le length, width, and height. So immediately when someone sees this drawing, they can see the dimensions. Now the key is I don't want to type in my values. I don't want to just say what those, type those, you know, the six, seven, eight inches in there because I want it to automatically link. So what I'm going to do is click in here, click on that dimension. Okay, so really simple. That's going to be an X, seven, and then eight. Right, if I hover over it, you're gonna see the syntax. It says D1 at bot at the name of the feature and the name of the part. Okay. So the key is now when we update this, so say I want to modify this seven, okay, because this one's driving the entire model. I can double click and say I change this to nine inches. Go ahead and rebuild. Not only do you see it change here in the model as well, but you also see it change in the note because it's linked back to the part and it's also linked as a feature dimension. Okay, So once again, just to double check to make sure that works, I'm going to change this back to 6. Originally it was 7 before. And then you can see it changes the length as well as the height. In addition, not only can you do feature dimensions, but you can also do notes with regarding to your material. So any kind of custom property. So if I place this in here, and I wanna make sure I go to link to property. Once I do that, I can identify, for instance, the material of this part. And in this case, it's cast alloy steel. If I hover over it, you can see this in text. And just to verify, that's the material that we have listed here. So in today's video, we covered how to link a feature dimension to a node inside of a drawing, which will save us time and prevent errors from not having to update both the dimensions and note individually, but you want to have them both associated. Thanks for watching.